the request fulfillment process. You have in this process, again, you, multiple different organizational units which are involved. In our example today, we're going to have um, three different involved parties, an end user, first level support, and business approval. The end user will request to the first level support team a new service that's required. First level support will create a request. Generally speaking, a request is checked to see whether it's pre-approved. So for example, if a user phones up and says, I've forgotten my password for my SAP system, you don't want to go and seek business approval to reset his password. And this is what we mean by pre-approved requests. So if the request is pre-approved, it can be directly implemented. If, for example, the user phones up and says, oh, I need a new label printer in, in my production area, you do not want to just implement this without seeking business approval. So, for example, there may be a financial impact, and defined in your service level agreement, you will define which services are, are approved and which services are, um, are, are need to be approved. So, once the service is implemented, the ticket can be um, closed and the end user can be uh, notified. So, again, we're going to go back to SAP. The user will phone up or he will email um, uh, me to tell me that he's got a new request. Once I have this new request, I need to record it within the system. And I click on my service request button and the screen is loaded with all of the information I need to enter for the request fulfillment process. So the first thing I do is um, give it a description. So we're going to say it's uh, a new label printer that's required. I would enter in the name of the person who has reported the problem. I use my own name um, so that the notifications work. Um, I don't need to enter um, the first level support team because the system should do that for me. I enter what priority this request has. And again, depending on your service level agreement, you would define the priority and then the system would analyze the execution of the ticket to make sure that the right service level is given. I provide a category. And also, this time, we have a different set of um, subjects. And so we need to define the subject which is relevant to this request. This is a request for new hardware category. Now, this will allow us later to analyze requests. It helps with your um, uh, gathering KPI information. And it helps you to analyze if you're achieving your service levels. OK, so I enter my subject line. Um, I know that this is um, uh, a service that I need to seek approval for because it's said um, standard change. And I'm able to enter in a long text description um, from the user. So the user requires a new uh, label printer. In and uh, label printers need to be configured in SAP, which is why there's a ticket being raised. Again, I save the ticket, and um, the system should automatically uh, define my business partners for me. So I can see on my partner tabs who's been defined and who hasn't. And for this process, because again, we've selected that business approval is required by selecting the right category, the system allocates a financial approval team to the message. Okay. Next, we will change the status. We will put the ticket into progress, and um, we know this requires business approval, so uh, we will select request and approval. We will select a further status to say that it requires financial approval. Uh, we can select other approvals um, as well. So I save the um, request, and we're not using the standard SAP notification system, so there won't be any emails that are sent. We will be using the workflow engine. So I can see the workflow that which has been triggered for this approval process. And the first step in the process is to assign the approve by date and to assign the user that needs to approve. Um, but if I go into my business workplace in SAP Solution Manager, the uh, business workplace We'll start and I should have a um, work item to process. So this can be done through the business workplace or you could have a pop-up screen where you enter the information directly. 
So I first of all I assign the approver. This is done by entering the uh, user account. The user account for our approver demo is approver. So it's quite easy for me to remember. And I select the um, approved date. And once I've done that, the um, system, the work item is now gone. And if I look in the ticket, if I look at the ticket, I can then check the workflow and status to see exactly where the ticket is. The, the workflow engine is telling me that financial, a financial approval is required. I can click on the information button and I can see who's holding the process up. If you had an automated process where it assigns the approval automatically without you entering it, this is very useful. So um, I'm already logged in as um, user uh, approver, which you see on the screen here. And if I go into the approver's business workplace, I can see that um, I have a work item um, to process. There's my workflow. There's my work item. If I trigger the work item, I have three options. I can approve it, I can reject it, I can cancel it. But first of all, I need to check it. So I can go directly into the um, request which has been raised. And in this request, I can um, check uh, certain information, uh, for example. So the, the ticket is all there. And again, I can go through um, all of the different um, actions. So. I'm going to approve the request. As soon as I click approve, then um, the workflow is then moving on to the next step. Uh, if I just go into my um, workplace, we can, we should be notified the approval has taken place. If I look on my documents, I can see that evaluation of service request um, 226 has been um, processed. So. If we now go into the ticket itself, hopefully we will see that the ticket has changed status to request approved. And during this time, of course, the um, person uh, in the IT support group is then notified that he can then implement the change uh, that he's defined. So it should load up just within one second. So the status is now uh, request approved. So I'm now able to implement the change. So I just change it now to request in process. And I can enter in whatever information I like. New label printer installed and configured in PRD. And I can now uh, show that the request has been fulfilled. I can complete the request and I can close the request.